Hey guys, it's Danny from b and Films, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a cloud tank. And it's a pretty simple effect, looks really cool, so let's get started. For this effect, you're going to need a fish tank. You're also going to want to get a sheet, or preferably two sheets, of black foam core poster board, like I have here. Also an oral syringe some milk or whipping cream or half and half type thing okay so first thing you're gonna want to do is find a nice area that has like a right angle in it like a wall and a floor type thingy like this it's got the wall part and the floor or I guess is the table and take your foam core poster board Put it against the wall like so. Um, as you can see, I only have one. I'm using a black t shirt this as the second one. It's a clash, yay, clash. Um, but it probably would be better to use a, a, a second uh, poster board for this, but you use what you got. So, okay, then after you've got this all nice and set up. You want to take your fish tank and place it right here so that if you're looking at it from straight on, like down here, that the back, the whole back side of the fish tank is covered by the poster board and you want to have it pretty much straight up so the back should be like perfectly straight up and then Straighten out your t-shirt if you're using cloth or a t-shirt or whatever. If you have another poster board then you don't really need you don't really need to worry about that, so that's good. Okay, so now you can get a hose, you can put the hose in the tank, then you can turn the water on, and then the water is gonna go through the hose, because that's what it does, because it's water, and it goes through stuff, and then you're gonna watch the tank fill up, or not watch it, I mean, whatever, whatever's cool. You could just let it sit there and go away, but whatever. Anyways, so you're gonna do that. Now that your tank is filled with water, you're going to have to do some in-camera cropping. I mean, I guess you could do it on the computer, but it'll save you a lot of trouble later, so let's do that now. Alright, before we start cropping and all that good stuff, there's something I kind of forgot to mention, which is that if you have a fish tank like mine, and the liner, I guess, whatever it is, that like rubber stuff is white, you should get some electrical tape and cover that up like I did on every side except for the one that I kind of need <laughs> and well because normally I flip the tank around I guess I didn't notice that but this uh, this side should be the back so that line right there would be covered black um, it's kind of late now because the tanks already filled with water but just so you guys keep that in mind if you're gonna have to cover that otherwise it's gonna be a real pain to um, like edit out when you're on the computer and doing all your fancy schmancy movie magic and all that stuff so just yeah you're gonna need to cover that up <laughs> make sure you're even with the tank I probably could raise the tripod up a little bit but for our purposes this is good zoom in a little bit so the edges aren't in the tank edges are alright that edge and that edge should also be covered with electrical tape. Like I said, this whole tank's backwards, so like, this edge is covered with electrical tape, and this edge is because the tank should be switched. But anyways, I think you get the point by now. So everything should be black. The background's black, t-shirt's black, it's all black. Then, 
we go to lighting. Okay, so lighting is pitch black, but with one lamp, or I guess two lamps might work, but everything should be one shade of black, just like everything should be one shade of green or blue or whatever color when you're chroma keying. It's the same deal. And you want to zoom in like I have it to get out any thing that's not black. Next step is milk and your syringe. Just take your milk. It's fairly straightforward. I mean, I don't know how you wouldn't get this. Put the milk in the syringe. I'm leaving this a bit zoomed out just so you can see what I'm doing and everything. Um, but yeah, you should be zoomed in a little bit. Anyways, milk, water, milk is white, background is black, contrast against each other. This is what makes it really easy to key out when you're in your editing program. And it actually works really well. It's like very, very simple even with a bad program that's not very good at green screening or uh, chroma keying, I mean. But it works pretty well just because they're like exact opposite colors. So anyways, this is what you should be doing. Okay, at this point, I would just like to point out that there's many, many, many uses for a cloud tank. It doesn't just have to be milk and a syringe. Um, you can use other liquids like um, oil, I guess. People can use, I've seen them use paint. You can put glitter and stuff. That looks neat. Um, you can use two different liquids. You could use oil and then put milk on top of that so it builds up like a layer, I guess, because the oil is lighter than water. That might look interesting. Um, I know in Indiana Jones they use the cloud tank to make ghosts by wrapping a tissue, like a ball of tissue paper, around a black stick and f waving it around in the water, and it looked really fluid because obviously it was in water. And then they keyed out the black and it looked like a ghost, and that's pretty simple, and you could definitely do that on a low budget. I mean, all you need is a stick the cloud tank and some tissues. So yeah, there's a bunch of different ways to do this effect. Good luck.